Maybe there's a crack under the sticker. So I work at a huge corporate retail store. Today is Thanksgiving. I'm already not happy to be here. This couple comes through my checkout line, they seem really nice. Upon other things they decide to buy candles. As I'm checking them out the glass candle slips out of my hand and it lands on the register but I kind of save it. I do a quick check to make sure there are no damages and move on while apologizing. The husband says he wants a 30% discount for that and I laugh thinking it's a joke. His wife starts laughing and says, no he's dead serious. Their ham doesn't have a barcode so the wife kindly leaves to go find out how much the ham is per pound because there are no managers in sight. Husband. I still think I should get that discount. Me, oh well there was no damage to the candle. Husband, how do you know that? I laugh awkwardly because I clearly checked it. Me, well I checked it. Husband, are you sure there isn't a crack under the sticker? I don't answer because it's a ridiculous question and seems like a joke but I know by now he is not joking. Husband dot see you don't know. I somehow got out of giving them the discount on it, saying I needed to get a manager, but goddamn it's not broken you don't get an effing discount greedy f. Ma'am, he's deaf. One of my best warehouse guys is deaf and has been since birth. American Sign Language is not particularly easy to learn, but we have a lot of signs, ASL has different dialects and accents, we've made up along the way as shortcuts to communicate. Most of the signs are related to specific things we do. He was helping me out on the sales floor when a customer started talking to him. Not abnormal. You can't look at him and see that he's deaf. I was perched atop a 15-foot tall ladder when a customer approached my helper. Customers may see a ladder, but they rarely look up. It really sucks when you're on an unstable ladder and a customer rams their cart into it. My coworker indicated that he's deaf. From my ladder I said, ma'am, he's deaf. Can I help you? The customer looked up in shock to see me on my least favorite ladder. She then turned back to my coworker and said loudly and slowly, can you take me to someone WHO can hear? I really don't have any idea where she was trying to go with the interaction, but I startled her again when I slid down my ladder to plop down in front of her offering to help her. Maybe she thought he could read lips, and she doesn't know that really isn't a thing for much of the deaf community. The customer that almost named her child after me. Short introduction. Until last December I worked in the smallest shop of a big retail chain, for almost 7 years. Because of the size, we had a lot of regulars that knew everyone working there. Me and my boss at the time had a really good relationship and we called each other by our first names during work, side note, we are still friends and he invited me to his private Christmas dinner in 2 weeks. On to the story. Normal workday, nothing special. In comes one of our regulars. A pregnant woman, P.W. She gets some water and comes up to pay. P.W., politely, I don't want to be rude, but your name is Shakris, right? Me, smiling, well, yes. P.W., the other day, I overheard your boss call you by your name. I really like it. My name is rather unique where I live, so I'm used to people getting interested in it. I explained her, where it originated from and how my mother chose that name. A little back and forth, then suddenly. P.W., I was asking, because when I heard that name, I started to think about naming my soon-to-be-born child after you. Me smiling like the moon from Mahoa's mask, I'm really happy that you like my name that much. P.W., I like your name, because you are always so kind and friendly and you smile every time I see you. I almost started to cry. We talked a little more and she left happy. Some months after her son was born, she came in with her child in her arms. Sadly she didn't name her child after me, because her family and friends talked her out of it. In their opinion the name didn't fit the child's nationality. P.W. seemed a little sad and disappointed that her family got her to choose another, rather generic name. Nonetheless she was happy, her child was healthy and I will probably never forget this encounter. Customer was upset about clearance shoes. I work in a shoe store as a manager and we have our clearance racks in the back. I was coming out of our back room one day when I heard these two customers talking about these clearance shoes. They were $30 on clearance. She turns to me, I guess she saw me walking by, and asked if I could change the price because $30 is just ridiculous. I politely told her no, I'm sorry and went about doing other things. They're ready to pay and she has the $30 pair. I recognized it as one of our more pricey brands, original cost was probably about $80. 
I got them checked out, but she was huffing the entire time she was at the counter about how they were too expensive, like that was going to make me magically change my mind. They left and it made me wonder why are you upset about a $50 discount? Thanks for watching and don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a good one.